I'm Judy from Wine.coza and uh, it's Christmas time and I've invited uh, some fabulous winemakers to join us for lunch here. So I've uh, created some of my favorite Christmas uh, recipes for the winemakers and we have some delicious uh, glazed gammon and I've got an interesting green salad with some grilled and roasted beetroot bits and a, a very unusual South African thing that my mother and Oma used to make called slop hux kinkies, which nobody's ever heard of and some roasted butternut and couscous and feta salad. So join us for a festive lunch. So Peter, I believe you've got an interesting story about your granny's cooking. Tell us about your special Christmas memory. Yeah, there's many, many fond memories. But of late, I think uh, it's all about, you know, everybody has a Christmas cake and they do it so well and they do it with glazed things. We've opted to go more for a Christmas pudding. Now people think, what is a Christmas pudding? It's really just a glorified Christmas cake. Mm -hmm. And this Christmas pudding is then, once you've got it ready, you will then put it in uh, hot water and you will boil it for 20 odd minutes so that it gets warm completely through. We always put in what we call tikkies. So, I mean, so now today. Oh no. man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the ordinary guy. You get Rockefeller and you get this fella, you know. We stuff it with some coins. Obviously, we boil that beforehand just to make sure you don't contaminate anything. And then uh, when this pudding comes to the table, obviously you go through the whole entourage where you do the brandy and it all flames up. But the secret to this whole thing is the side dish called brandy butter. Mm. And that, I'm telling you, you, you cannot stop eating. Man, oh man, that's really You're going to have to give us that brandy butter recipe yeah. and we'll put it on the side. Huh? We will definitely do that. We'll yeah. share that. Yeah. Great. Cheers. 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 <laughs> So, Carla, you telling me your mother does a whole fabulous number for you at Christmas. Tell us when you do that and what it all entails. Yeah, um, now Christmas is a family time for us, so we usually get together. And my mom plans a whole five course meal for us that mm. she pairs with MCC and with the wine for every course. It's always actually quite exciting because we never know what she's going to make. It's, it's quite a big surprise every year, so that's um, sort of part of the presents for us. But we do that on Christmas Eve. After dinner we open our presents and we just spend some family time together and, and just relax. We're a family that we're quite into the meal and the enjoyment of eating and drinking and spending time together. Right? Yeah. Cheers for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, when do you celebrate um, Christmas? Well, our main meal would usually be on Christmas Eve, and um, I would personally put myself in charge of preparing the meat. <laughs> uh, so the meat would either be prepared on the weaver or on the brine. Good South African way. For the pork uh, belly, what I do is I take a litre of ginger beer and I put it in a pot, mm -hmm. and I have a bit of salt and pepper, and then I cook it for about two hours. So it's nice oh. and tender, and then I take it to the open coals. Right, oh, and yeah. then I will just cut the skin so that it can uh, slowly I put it on the side on the grid next to the coal mm -hmm. so it can get that skin nice Crackling. and crispy mm -hmm. and then the, the meat nice and tender. Oh, and the yeah. nice thing about that is that whatever you don't eat on Christmas Eve, the coal leftovers for That's Christmas the best thing about Christmas. Oh, yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Good old. Wow. Linda, tell us, what do you guys do for Christmas? Normally, traditionally, the summer holidays, we camp, and it's normally along the west coast, and our favorite spot is Irlands Bay, and okay. there is pretty much a lot of nothingness, mm -hmm. and lots of crayfish. <laughs> we tend to stick to fish on Christmas Eve. If my folks are with us, my mom will normally prepare some gammon, and on Christmas Day, we'll have cold meats. How do you keep your bubbly cold? Ha <laughs> oh, ha ha, don't you worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> That's priority number one for the entire holiday, actually. 
crayfish fresh and bubbly cold. <laughs> this year we've got a little bit of a twist. We are <laughs> upgrading from a camping summer holiday to a winter Christmas. Oh wow. And we're taking our kids to Italy. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us here for our pre-Christmas lunch and we'd really like to wish everybody the best of all possible Christmases and go and grab yourself a fabulous bottle of bubbly to make it the best Christmas ever. Cheers we guys. Agree. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.